Hey, it's Harker from Play, and today we're going to be talking about Apple's icons called SF symbols in Play for Mac OS. SF symbols are what we use for icons in Play. So first, let's add one to our page. There's three ways to do this. First, I can go down to the add bar and I can click on this SF symbol. Clicking on that allows me to place an SF symbol on my page. I can also go into the add panel here and in this first category called content, I can click on symbol and place it to my page that way. Lastly, I can also use a keyboard shortcut and that's keyboard shortcut F. So if I press F and then I can place it anywhere on my page or on my screen. Great, and those are three ways that you can add an SS symbol to your page or canvas. Once you have the SS symbol added, then you can adjust what symbol is actually within the SF symbol. So you can do this two ways. One, you can either double click on the actual element itself on the page, or you can go over to the attributes panels to the element settings panels for SF symbols. This first property is called SF symbol, and you can click on the right side of that to open the SF symbol uh, panel. So inside here, you can explore almost 5,000 different symbols. So you can go by category if you want something human. You can look through all the human icons here, some smiley faces, a running person. And you can also change the size, the weight, and the scale. And you can do this from this SS symbol panel, or you can do it from the attribute settings panel. So size, weight, and scale there as well. Once you've decided what you want your icon to look like, you can change, you can close that SS symbol panel here by either clicking on the X mark or clicking anywhere else on the screen and that will close it as well. Next, we'll look at this align to baseline property. So right now it's turned on, but if I turn it off, this slightly moves down. And so this is just based on if you want it to align to the baseline if you have it next to text, or if you don't want it to align to the baseline, you can choose that based on how you want it to look. Lastly, let's talk about color. So. Right now, I have this fill property, and that's for the color. So I can either I can either click on this hex code here, and I can choose any color I'd like. Once I've chosen that color, it's now in the used color panel down here, and I can turn it into a style if I'd like, or I can use any of my existing color styles by clicking on these four uh, these four circle icon. So now I can choose maybe pink. So now that I have this selected, we could be done, or we could get a little bit complex with our color type. So Right now, we have the color monochrome. And if we open this color type attribute here, you can see that we have this property for rendering mode, color, and variable fill. So you can see right here, all of the rendering modes are shown and they look the same in every single one. So let's instead change this SF symbol. If you go up here to the top, you have a bunch of different categories, but you also have two specific categories. You have multicolor and variable, and we'll get to variable in just a second. So for now, we're gonna click on multicolor, and all of these SS symbols can have multiple colors within them. So when I click on one of these, let's say, you know, maybe this windshield. Now, this is what it looks like here, but if you go over to our color type, their rendering modes, you can see that these look a little bit different. So there's a couple options here. So this is monochrome but we can also use hierarchical. And so this uses that one color that we chose and it has a more opaque and a less opaque version of that to show some contrast. You can also use palette. So in the palette rendering mode, there's multiple colors here. So I have color one, color two, and color three. So I can change color two here. It's currently black and you can see that as the windshield wiper here. And I can change this to be green or whatever other color I would like it to be there. Same thing with this first color here can change that to be whatever I'd like it to be. We also have this multicolor version here. And if this icon is multicolor, it will show up here. So let me show you an example of that. So once I found this paint palette version, you can see that multicolor, it has a specific colors that it's already used for multicolor. So when I have this, you know, color orange, I could click on the other rendering modes. So palette, or hierarchical or monochrome, and it all looks the same. But if I click on multicolor, I don't even have to select those colors. This SF symbol already knows what to do with it. So now let's talk about variable colors. So I'm gonna double click on this again to choose a new SF symbol. And I'm gonna to go to the variable category here. Now all of these will work with variable fill. So let's choose this speaker. 
So I have this volume button here and it doesn't matter which rendering mode we're in, any of them will work with variable fill, except maybe multicolor. So once I have variable fill on, with you'll see this new property called progress. So it goes as a slider from zero to 100. When I'm at 100, all of this is the same color here. But let's see what happens if I go down to zero. If I go down to zero, the only color that is bright and vibrant and not lacking some opacity is just the actual volume thing over here and not these two volume bars that are coming out. Now let's see what happens if I go to say 25%. Once I go to 25%, you can see that only one of these bars is more opaque than this last one. And if I go all the way back up, you can see that all of them are opaque. So you can choose how much progress you want your SF symbol to have. And these, this progress only works on certain SF symbols. Now, something else you can do with this is you can take this SF symbol and you can turn it into a component. So now that it's a component, I'll take us to the main editor. And inside here, I can add a new state. So I'll add a new state. And for this state, I want the variable color to be different. So I'll click on that SS symbol. And for this one, I want the progress to be 23%. So it's only one of those. So now you can see in different states, I can have different variable fill color. So different progress for my variable fill. And that's SF symbols in Play for Mac OS. Thanks so much for watching this video. And I can't wait to see what you do with SF symbols in your own projects in Play for Mac OS.